Scientists are saying kangaroos are a bit more gassy than we previously thought. Now, you might be wondering what led to this discovery, or why it's relevant. Researchers reportedly put kangaroos in a room, fed them, let them pass gas, and then measured the methane content of the room. Science! Red roos look as if they're designed to hop all over Australia. Why did they do this, though? Because for a long time, kangaroos weren't thought to produce much methane at all. In fact, a few years ago, some scientists even proposed replacing some of the cattle in our diet with kangaroo, just to cut down on greenhouse emissions. Livestock produce about 14 and a half percent of greenhouse gas emissions globally, mostly methane and mostly by belching. And methane is one of the most potent greenhouse gases out there. By replacing cattle with kangaroos, scientists hope they would slow climate change. Unfortunately, it seems those scientists were measuring from the wrong end. Adam Munn, one of the authors of the study, told the Christian Science Monitor, with kangaroos, most of the methane comes out the back end, not the front end like in sheep and cattle. The study did find that the amount of methane produced by kangaroos is related to how long it takes their food to digest. The less time it takes, the less methane produced. Based on that, the researchers suggest the key to lowering livestock emissions might just be breeding cows that digest more quickly. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.